The next step is to add your external transducer to the system uh, if your intention is to monitor intracranial pressure. If you're not going to monitor intracranial pressure, it's best to leave this end cap at the system stopcock in place. Before we add the transducer, I want to make sure that all my stopcocks are positioned appropriately and that all of my fittings are tightened. So I'm going to start at the end of the tubing and make sure that my stopcock is positioned in a way that allows for priming. And I also want to make sure that my cap is on tight. Same for my system stopcock. Make sure my fitting is on and that my stopcock is positioned appropriately. I also want to check my fitting here at the base of the burette and make sure that my stopcock is off to the burette. And this is probably a good time for me to remind you that we really want to use aseptic technique when we're setting up our, our external transducers and priming the system. And you'll want to follow your hospital protocols and make sure that you have your appropriate personal protective equipment, including sterile gloves available. To add your external transducer, you'll want to remove the cap that's going to attach to your system stopcock. and make sure that you insert this and tighten it securely. Then you can use a, a 10 cc syringe as long as it contains preservative free sterile normal saline. And this is what you'll prime the system with. So I'm gonna remove the cap at the end of my transducer and prime through the transducer. With the transducer I'm using, I'll need to open up my stopcock here. The one that you have at your facility may look different. I'll turn my system stopcock off to the burette. We would call this the monitoring only position and prime through the transducer and down to the tip of the tubing. Once I've reached the tip of the tubing, I'm going to turn my system stopcock down, and this is called the closed position. And now I'll continue to prime through the transducer up to the top of the burette. Then I'll take my system stopcock, I'm gonna quarter cock it so that it's between my tubing here. And I can remove my syringe without losing any of that priming I just did. And then I'll add a brand new sterile end cap to my transducer. And now you've got your closed system.